Hi, Cancer. This is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Let's see what God in the universe has for you, Cancer. Ooh, that was a good shuffle. Yes, pentacles. Nine of them. Ooh, you know what I heard? I'm hearing whatever this is, it's hard and you're ready to give up. But the universe is like, don't do it, right? I feel like whatever this situation is, and I'm getting chills on my feet, good Lord, and my shoulders. Um, the universe is saying this is hard and you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. The magician card to me says that you have what it takes to get through whatever the situation is. And the universe does not want you to give up on it. Okay. I feel like for some of you guys, you are looking for an out, looking for a way out of it because it is so hard. It is so trying, but the universe is basically saying not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, not only that, but with that nine of pentacles opening the reading that kind of says to me that, yeah, this is worth it. This has to do with something that's near and dear to your heart. Uh, cancer. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's taking a long time. Yeah. Whatever this is, it's taking a long time and you're ready to just give up and walk away from it is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing too, for a lot of you guys, you're running out of money. Um, nine of pentacles and the fool card. Mm, 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 mm. I hate to say this to you, cancer, but I'm hearing that. Yeah. You're going to have to kind of quote unquote, throw more money at this particular situation. Right. And you're trying to figure out how to get more money. Angels are even saying start a GoFundMe or start some sort of fundraiser. Um, and if you're not that type of person, I'm also hearing, too. Yeah, you may get to the point where you have to ask family, friends, co-workers to kind of donate to whatever this whatever this cause is. I also kind of feel like any anytime you're ever ready to give up, walk away from this situation something happens to re to motivate you and bring you back in it. And if that continues to happen, that just is just a universal sign that says you need to keep up and you need to kind of keep going with this. You got the 10 of wands and the nine of swords. Yeah. I feel like you can't see a way around this, right? It's almost like every, you take two steps forward and 18 steps back, right? For a lot of you guys, you're starting to lose hope. You're starting to lose faith. And, you know, to an extent, you know, you're ready to just give up and walk away. Two of wands, angels are saying, but what's the alternative? You're going to give up after all of this and, and then do what? Right? Like, um, they're also saying to kind of slow it down because with this ace of wands, I do kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, you're burning the midnight oil, right? As in you are exhausting or given this, this situation, a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, a lot of your, um, mentality and I'm hearing energy in all honesty. A lot of you guys are putting forth a lot of energy towards this particular situation, right? Um, and angels are saying to allow it to come together naturally. What's happening here is that you are emotionally invested in the outcome right? You are emotionally invested in the outcome, which says to me that you, there is a minimal amount of trust in the universe. If you're that heavily invested in the outcome, as in you probably don't believe that you're going to get what you want. So you're becoming emotionally about it. And when you become emotionally about it, as in fearing that you're not going to get what you want, then you tend to burn yourself out more towards whatever this situation is. I'm hearing a legal battle of some sorts. You know, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate with everyone, but this is some sort of legal battle. Could be an HR case, could be, you know, you're trying to get your car back, your house back, whatever it is. Um, and, you know, with that moon card there, that's deep fear, right? And this deep fear, deep emotions. That's, you know, kind of going from bitter to better if you will. And 
the the most positive message that I have for you in this reading cancer is the universe is working on it and you will have um, an acceptable outcome. Yeah, judgment. But by the time you receive judgment, you're just going to be so done. Yeah, there's the laziness. Six of Pentacles. Cancer, I need you to build your, build up your emotion here. There are um, conversations or arguments or um, for some of you guys, you have somebody blocked because you don't want to hear from them. Thank you, Jesus. I kept pulling those cards like, okay, do we have an ex acceptable outcome? This is balance. This is emotional happiness. This is joy. Let's keep going because I don't want to make it seem like, oh, I'm just going to stop because I got the good cards. But this is emotional balance, emotional joy. You kind of quote unquote getting what you want. There's the decision, right? It's going to be a wise decision. It's going to be a just decision. It's going to be a crystal clear decision. It's going to be something for you to celebrate. And there's the message. You get notification. And when you get notification, you're going to be happy. You're going to be joyful. You're going to have something to celebrate. I've never, I've done that for a couple of times where I basically started pulling from the deck. Um, but I kind of felt like this, um, information was pretty clear cut. It was saying kind of like the same thing, but for you uh, specifically cancer, I wanted to find an answer for you, right? Cause I feel like everything the universe was saying throughout the cards is what you're going through and what you're going through and what you go, what you go through. And I think for a lot of you guys, especially with that nine of wands, did I see the nine of wands? I didn't see the nine of wands, but for a lot of you guys, I feel that nine of wands energy, that whole giving up, that whole being battered and bruised, that whole, you know, been in this fight for so many years. I feel like you guys are living that that's your day in day out. And it's like, well, Alex, I already know it. I already am, am, am living it. I don't need to hear it. Right. So something just said to me, keep going, keep going, keep going. Cause cancer needs an answer. Cancer needs an answer you're ready as in you could do this cancer right if you need to take some time to yourself go somewhere and take a knee like on that nine of wands go ahead and do it okay but you gotta keep you gotta stay in this i think that's why the ace of wands came up is because you guys have to stay in this you cannot give up right yes it's gonna take more money and and god you know just ask god for the money and he'll make a way okay but you got to stay in this fight is what I'm hearing. You guys are welcome to do whatever you want to do. This is just generic advice. Um, but you're welcome to do whatever it is that you want to do. Communicate clearly. That's where we saw that queen. Mm, you got the ace of swords. Um, yeah. I also kind of feel like, again, you guys are so worn out that to an extension, to an extent, the communication, you're like, yo, why should I even have to communicate? Because I'm not going to be able to to say what I have to say, cause I'm not going to win this. You know what I mean? But again, you got to keep the faith compromise. Yep. It's up to you boy. Cancer. This is God today. Cause I feel like your strength, your endurance, your communicating clearly, keeping your eyes on the prize. That's what's being tested here more than anything else. But also at the same time, the universe is harnessing or using that energy to kind of yield this situation in your favor or move this situation in your favor. So to an extent, the stronger you are, the more you keep going is the closer you get to a decision. When you start feeling weary and like you want to give up and forget this and just throw your hands up and give up, then that's when you're experiencing more delays because the universe again is trying to kind of quote unquote train you, build you up to prepare you for the outcome of having something to celebrate. Okay. So cancer, I hope that helps kind of wonky here because my cards are closed up, but if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are in the about section of my channel. Thanks cancer. Love you. Bye.